Hi there, second graders. It's Miss Meese here. So we're going to be learning from Eureka Math, Module 3, Lesson 11. Today, we're going to be reviewing our base 10 blocks, which look like this, with our ones, tens, and hundreds. And then our place value disks, which look like this. We have a Zern video for today, so let's put on our listening ears and take a look at that. What's up, Zerners? Can you show 13 on this place value chart? All right, so we're going to show 13 with our base 10 blocks, which means we have 110, 11, one, one, another one, and another one. Brayden, how did you show 13 on the place value chart? Like this, one tens rod and three ones. Nice. Let's whisper together the number in unit form and standard form. Unit form. One ten, three ones. Standard form. Thirteen. Let's show thirteen on the place value chart using disks. Thirteen has one ten and three ones, so we can also show thirteen by using one tens disk and three ones disks. So notice how he's swapping out his base 10 blocks for his place value disks. You try it. All right, so to show 13, we're going to show one 10, one, two, three, three ones. Ready for another one? Show 103 on the place value chart using tiles first, then disks. All right, so now with our base 10 blocks, we're going to show 103. So here's our 100, our one, two, three. With that, it shows 100. We do not have any 10, so we're going to put a zero, and then we have our three ones. 103 equals 100, zero, 10, three ones. Okay, now we're going to show it using our, our place value disks. Here's the 100 place value disk, and then here's our three ones. Notice it shows it on a hundreds, tens, and ones chart that we've been working on. Maya, how did you show 103 with tiles? I put 100 and three ones on the place value chart. Nice. Brayden, with discs? I put one hundreds disc and three ones discs. You got it. Whisper the unit form first and then standard form with me. One hundred, zero tens. Three ones. One hundred three. Both of these representations show the same value, just in a different way. All right, now it says to match the tiles and discs that represent the same value. Well, here's our hundred block. So we're going to drag this here. There's our 10 rod. Here's our 10 place value disk, and then our one. Brayden. This hundred represents the same value as the hundreds disk. The tens rod matches the tens disk, and the ones match the ones disk. Yiggity yow. Disks are much easier to draw since we can easily show the value with the number on the disk. Next, show 129 using disks. We'll start together. I see that 129 has 100, so I can draw 100's disk. Finish the rest on your own. All right, so what is 129 in unit form? Well, in the place value, you can see 100, then we have 
two tens and nine ones. Now it says solve this in your notes. Finish showing 129 with the place value chart disks. So let's give this a try second graders. What else are we going to need? What's 129 in unit form? 100, two tenths, nine ones. How did you show that on the place value chart? One hundreds disc, two tens discs, and nine ones discs. Exactamundo. Okay, so your work should look something a little bit like this. Exactly like this. Nice job using discs to show values on the place value chart. Now, let's read place value charts. What value does this place value chart show? Let's think, what value does this place value chart show? What is the unit form in this value? Two ones, two hundreds, or two tens? Well, the first one is two hundreds, because I see one hundred and another hundred. The second one, I see three 10 place value disks. So I'm gonna click on the three tens. We have zero ones. Zero ones. So I'm going to go ahead and click on the zero ones. Okay, so with this, our place value chart shows two hundreds, three tens, and zero ones, which equals to 230 in standard form. Maya. 230. The place value chart has two hundreds, three tens, and zero ones. Precisely. Try another one on your own. All right, so write the unit form and standard form for the number shown in the place value chart. Have our hundreds, tens, and ones. We have 100, four tens, and four ones. Four tens and our four ones. In standard form, what would this be? Well, 100, four tens is 40, four ones is just four, so our standard form is 144. Go ahead and check your work. Nice effort today using disks on the place value chart. Now show what you know in the Tower of Power. Alrighty, second graders. So in our homework, it says model on page 57. It says Model the following numbers for your parent using the, as few disks as possible. Whisper the numbers in standard form and in unit form with your 100, three tens, and four ones. That's an example. So for problem A, it should look something like this. I drew my 10 disks and then five ones. Thanks for tuning in second graders. Have a wonderful weekend.